Welcome back in. Halloween is all about a good scare, and one Henrico man's home is certainly offering plenty of spooks, but it's all done in good taste. Now at 530, Emily Harrison caught up with the homeowner and the good cause behind his frightening decorations. <laughs> And it even has its own name, the Kinlock Lane Cemetery. But this isn't a paid attraction. It's not even a real haunted house. It's Alan Bryan's home in Henrico. So we had a someone who was probably like 10 or 12 come through and they got about halfway through the display and something moved and they took off and ran through the whole yard as quickly as they could. It's a reaction Brian gets a lot as he spent countless hours and an unimaginable amount of money to make this the scariest house on the block with several animations, over a hundred carved pumpkins and even ghosts that haunt the windows at night. We start the display in August. We start putting up the fence and the pumpkins and everyone loves the display. We've got usually about 300 trick-or-treaters or so that come out on a nightly basis and everyone from little kids to old grown adults love coming out here to see it. But while the decorations can be scary, they aren't meant to terrify you. Bryant wants you to come out and then hopefully make a donation to St. Jude's as his house is part of a national campaign, Skeletons for St. Jude's. Well, you know, everyone comes out to see these displays. Why don't we try to take some of that attention we're getting and turn it into a good cause? Almost a hundred thousand dollars has already been raised and while Brian says a donation is not required every little bit helps and a QR code is stamped right there at the front of the gates. I hope when someone comes by they they have that memory established that you know they think back to Halloween they have a positive reinforcement and they just they fall in love with the holiday like we have. On your side I'm Emily Harrison NBC 12.